So, um, a lot of people ask me the question, basically, uh, where do I start transition? How do I start transition? And the answer is, uh, kind of wherever you want to, whenever you want to, however you want to. So it's, it's hard to answer a question like that because it's not specific, it's pretty broad. And there are a lot of possibilities. And so rather than giving you the answer, I think a better approach is to say, well, sort of what do you want? So what are kind of your list of goals, your objectives, like um, your desires, but then also where are you right now? So like if you want to be thin or whatever, and right now you can maybe work on losing some weight or if you want to be able to pay for surgeries or pay for other aspects of transition like a new wardrobe, um, you need to have a job and you need to be able to pay all your other bills in addition to the costs that are going to come with transition. And so it's saying, well, how much do I make now? So what is it, my transition budget? Kind of things like that. And then, you know, like if you live at home with your parents and you're not sure if your parents are going to be cool with it, then you need to know, well, worst case scenario, if they kick me out, so what's my plan? What's my backup? Uh, do you have the money right now to go get an apartment, pay rent, pay utilities, or do you have people you could go live with and get roommates or whatever, like a sympathetic uncle, aunt, whoever? Like, these are all things that you need to maybe think about before you come out to your parents. Um, and then if your parents are a source of funding, what happens if they cut you off? Um, things like that. And so these are all scenarios that may or may not happen. Um, and I think that it can be a little bit overwhelming if you try to maybe sit down and plan out well everything at once. And so that's why I think that the goals is really kind what do you want to do, and then figuring out well, which ones makes sense to do them first. And so maybe some of your goals are not even specific to trans, uh, but you know, like losing weight, working on your voice. These are things you can do regardless of whether or not you're on hormones, uh, whether or not you have a job, and then like, kind of figuring out what you need to do, when you need to do it, so that you can sort of move through the steps of transition. So for me, like the first step was really like making the decision I was going to do it and then going to business school and doing it. And I picked business school because it was a safe space, because I had student health insurance. Um, and because when I came out, I would have a better job, better income to help pay for a transition. And thankfully, I ended up with an organization where insurance covers it. But um, that's all the result of me kind of having the background that I do, the education, the work experience, things like that. So I know that that's not necessarily the case for everybody. And it can take several years to build uh, that kind of, basically, context up. And for other people, the dysphoria is really strong, and they need to transition up. And that's totally fine, too. Like, totally understandable that some people can't wait because that could potentially be, you know, like you can make excuses to wait forever. And so eventually people pull the trigger and it's really kind of putting yourself in the best possible place you can be uh, before you start your transition. And really kind of thinking about it, not necessarily as this end goal, but all these little parts of, well, this is where I am now and this is where I want to be. And that can include whatever you want, whether that's trans-specific or not.